all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too all right my wonderful people the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment they say yes uh, pm has gone hard on everything these federal government people where they actually wake up they talk trash every single time about yes my people here has blown hot on them as the division or and the disintegration of one nigeria is so close as uh, he gives the top breaking news this is coming from the pm himself he says uh, that breaking news the nigerian drug lord is in coma we remember how they usually video and cover his return to nigeria i dare them to try it today my people <laughs> My people, these are this is what the commenting have been happening at the moment. I say, um, PM Simon Ekwa hits and dares them consistently concerning the issues that are breaking out right now. And then, my people, if you are being very sincere, this is um, a show of it. This is an example of it. He says um, that uh, these people have been hiding. In fact, they are hiding the fact that he was poisoned and that they do not want to let people know that he is now in coma. And because of that, we've not seen a video from from the from the president up till now. That is the truth of the matter. These things that are being stated by the PM BRGIE Simon Eba Njoko are things that are factual. And uh, if you're being very sincere, these people are actually hiding nowadays. So for how many days now we've not heard or we've not seen our president on TV? Nothing, no, nothing there. There is no actual video of him. And then this just makes us wonder and text and look into it further because of course the, we know the pm does not make such allegations like he does not make such comments likely if for people that are doubting my people you should go and look for a way to comment or you look for a way to look for how these things are done to be sure that these things are actually uh, checking because a whole lot of you would uh, come out and um, uh, say that uh, these things are lies but then if it, they are not lies, why are these people, why are we not seeing these things? Why are we not seeing the signs that uh, these things he has, he is saying is not true? But then, of course, as usual, we would keep, um, we'll keep on not uh, seeing it because, of course, it appears that the PM is actually making a point right now. These people are hiding the president and because he is in coma. He breaking here, says, uh, coming from the PM too, he says uh, that the criminals and terrorists running Nigeria has come again with their presidency. Uh, presidency said slogan and the spokesperson immediately we exposed the dying the dying drug lord and challenged them to make a video they now changed it to presidency they said that uh, and in the news they are now saying that president tinubu had traveled to a meeting with the dutch prime minister mark roots over two weeks ago from where he took a trip to saudi arabia to attend a special world economic forum wef my people, that is what they are now telling us that this man is on the road doing, or that is why we've not seen anything of him. Uh, whether or whether they, if they, if they like, they should keep hiding him. When the time comes, when they can no longer hide the truth, then they will tell us. And that is the truth of the matter. If this man dies in the process, they would not even let us know immediately. And uh, it might take some time before they come online to tell us that this is what has happened to him. Because, of course, they would want to assure or be assured of whatever it is that is going on in their place or whatever replacement they would want to do. My people, right from time, they've been talking about them. Um, we know we can remember how we are, we are talking about how there would be one person, one person or another person that wants to assassinate him. We talked about the assassination of him or how they want to poison him. Cool. He attacked. And uh, they came online and said it, it was just the, um, the community, it was just the, um, what do you call it? It was just the, um, the public trying to put fear into the um, um, minds of people that are in Nigeria and so on and so forth. But then, look at what is happening now. We have not seen him, even the kind of WEF and everything we have not. There is no proof of anything at all. They are just making talks and then we are not seeing anything. It means that soon a division is coming soon and uh, it's going to shock the world because of course this particular man took place and uh, took over this country. And within how many months he took the country on a full-time decline up till now. 
and you think it's a joke. My people, there is no joke for this particular season or this particular session. If the man is going, they should come out and tell everybody. But of course, they are hiding it and they want maybe to handle this on their own and however they would want to do it. But then, the there is as the security operative discover bodies of six policemen killed by Fulani headsmen, 15 others missing. This is not a joke. The fact that this particular, this set of things keep happening and they, they feel that they can get away with it because it is what actually what they think. They feel they would be able to like get away with every single thing they do is very outrageous. Now they are suffering for the consequences. They are suffering for the consequences of the things that are happening to them. Uh, he says here yeah, that trouble is brewing in Delta State after the bodies of policemen killed by Fulani headsmen were discovered. A collaborative effort between security forces and local vigilantes resulted in the retrieval of diseased police officers' bodies belonging to the IRT Abuja PMF 51 Ogara and anti kidnapping squad Asaba. So, uh, these are the set of people that their bodies were found recently. In uh, recently, that were killed by Fulani headsmen. And they, they are still keeping these people in their stead. <laughs> they are still keeping this set of people in their stead. And that is why we can never allow them to encroach into our own land. They have already encroached. They have started entering. Uh -huh. But we will not allow them to do that anymore. Because the more they encroach, the more they enter into our land, the more they take over and want to feel that they have something they, they, they need to do in our, in our place. And we will not let them have that. Yes, we can never let them have that. Okay, uh, it continues. The recovered corpses of the officers have been deposited at Mariri Central Hospital Morgue in Ugili, disclosed a senior security source at the Delta State Police Command, speaking on the condition of anonymity. The recovery operation conducted in Ugili North Local Government Area of Delta State followed extensive search efforts in the forest on both Sunday and Monday. So these people have been missing for some time. On January 24th, 2024, three officers, all inspectors, were dispatched to the Aurora community in Ugili North, Delta State, in response to a distress call made by an individual named Moses Progress. The distress caller alleged an attack by suspected Fulani headsmen, leading to the officers' deployment. Tragically, they never returned and with their face shrouded in uncertainty. So they called these people and they sent only three police officers instead of them to send a full squad to go and handle these people. Fulani headsmen normally move in bulk and you send only three people. What do you expect? Of course, they have taken them down. Although the police authorities in Delta State have remained silent about the incident, a group of local vigilante members discovered the bodies of some of the slain officers, the report continued. Operation Hots, belonging to the suspected killer Fulani headsmen, were demolished and six corpses were found in the Agadama bush, while the whereabouts of the 15 others remain unknown. Regarding the discovery, the anonymous security source further elaborated. They spent over three hours at the hospital morgue during the documentation before being attended to at Ugili Central Hospital. Another source, when queried, mentioned no details yet, and I will get back to you as we progress, indicating ongoing investigation into the matter. My people, this is what it is, and this is what uh, things would always end up to be, so far as it concerns the Fulani headsmen being allowed to encroach. Because these Fulani headsmen, they are trouble. They are full-time trouble. And the earlier we get to find out that these people do not have a place with us, and they can never have a place with us. In the South East, I don't care about wherever they are, in Abuja or wherever, those people, they can allow them to encroach into their land. But in our own land... Abia states, Imo states, Eboin states, Enugu states, and the rest. We are not allowed to let them in. We cannot let them in. If not, we risk losing lives of maybe innocent farmers, innocent people that are around. And that is the reason. We must avoid, 
we must avoid anything that will allow us calm down when we see them encroaching or entering into our land we cannot do that we cannot let them do that and so because of that we'll always be at alert to make sure that they do not encroach into our land to to do things that are not uh, uh, that to do things that would cause mayhem or trouble in our in our society or in our community and yes we've come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications too. Thank you.